Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with more Persona 3 Portable. I've gotten some feedback from last time, and I thank everyone who commented on it. Again, if you want to keep seeing me do this series, because again, I need to know if people like what I'm doing, please leave a thumbs up or a comment. You don't have to leave a thumbs up, just comment or something. Uh, I want to be better, and I can't be better without your help, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, see the last episode if you want to see me talk to your car in Mitsuru again. I believe. No. So this is where you sleep if you're a boy. But because I'm a girl, I'm on the third hallway. Correct? Yeah. Wait. Go back. No! Fuck! Later at the dormitory lounge. A young man walking down the stairs as Mitsu was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. I've mm -hmm. been waiting for this. Have you seen the newspapers lately? It's crazy shit in there. Trump got elected I president. Know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. You see a lot of apathetic people on they the news. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Okay, don't be the information. Otherwise, it's not student. worth my time. You have a one track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't what? worry, I'm just getting a little practice. I trust this man. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. His name's Akihiko. That's Akihiko. You overhear a conversation? Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom. <laughs> no. Not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? The first bell has rung. You wouldn't believe a story like that. That girl seems pretty apathetic. If you ask me, open your textbooks. We will be looking at the first novel by Zinzo Kasai. Oh, uh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubu Kubuto. He became famous as a singer, but he has also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. We'll all just bring Kubuto's book next time. Hey, Jupe, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Um, psst. What is she like? It's Utsubu Kubuto. <laughs> I love that sound effect. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Hey, hey, hey. Rito, I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Pepsi. <laughs> That's what Pepsi does. Pepsi gave the answer. She must be paying attention in school. You became slightly more popular. I'm more charming now. Who looks at this girl who is Pepsi Cola and doesn't already think she's charming? The dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. I have a name. Call Good me evening. Pepsi. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. You said it perfectly. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. It looks like Japanese Steve Jobs. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why did you come here? Who else lives here? I saw some God. No, not really. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bye -bye. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> I don't think that's a pun. I think you're just being kind of an idiot. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Okay, yeah, it is lame. You should rest for today. Yep. <coughs> Later at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? Or hardly working. So, <laughs> how's she doing? That's she went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Ominous. 
Meanwhile, in the back alley of Tatsumi Port Era Island. <sighs> this sucks. Man listening to radio. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. That's bad. I like the change. The clock changes, it's pink instead of blue. What the? What's happening to me? Uh. I feel like he had way more A's than that. That's just me, though. Back at the certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. I already knew During this. this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. You have to get orbs to open up my potential system. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. <sighs> Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Yeah, it's not a good look when you're being spied on by what looks like Japanese Steve Jobs. It's me repeating a joke. I think it's pretty good. It's not. It's a terrible joke. Master. Mepsi. Master Pepsi Cola. Are you my master? And then Saber shows up. And then we start Fate Grand. Fate slash Persona. Again, I also apologize if you hear the fan. I have to keep it on, otherwise I'll die of heat. Nobody wants that. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Sup? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make <laughs> your acquaintance. I love you so much, Igor. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before you. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I understand. Hold on to this. It's this L. And then he gives you a big ass L. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Peace. Thursday, my dude. You feel like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You never notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel like more refreshed than sleeping at home? I know what you mean. Right? You go from dead to being completely full of energy again. It's such a great feeling. Then again, I'm not listening to the lecture, so I'm screwed later. <laughs> Okay, but we have class glitch today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Oakota. Mm -hmm. I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be teaching you the classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The 
the students and the other teachers. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired? Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Wake up, sheeple. Gamers, rise up. Now open your textbooks. First on your syllabus is Eisei Monogatari, the origin of the Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters call it Da Bomb. So I, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. You meet Akari and the sheep Alex and decide to go back together. Oh, this song is so good too. Have you come here before? A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. Uh, why are you gonna ask me that question when I just came here? There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, a what? A karaoke box? There's also a nightclub, but that's kinda not for us yet. Don't you be that nightclub? Palawinia Mall is crowded with students on their own way back from school. Welcome oh. back. Hello, beautiful. You mean to suit all tonight? Might be nice to read a book by Moonlight once in a while. Can I watch you? Try not to be creepy. I'll save. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send us cool reports about daily life here in the dorm. Used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? You're right. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do more things like that. And now, if you're handy around the kitchen, I bet you could really do something with this place. Hmm. You think we could add a karaoke bar? Let's see if I can buy a drink. I'm gonna buy a mad bull. Yeah. That's mad bull. I'm going to bed. As a helicopter passes on by. And now I believe this is where the first fight happens. No spoilers. And a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. Oops, someone just left a comment. Shout out to Josh. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone else that just heard that. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Would you like another female on the team? Yeah, I guess. But still. Yukari loves females. Confirmed. An emergency call from outside rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. <laughs> Akihiko, how many times have we told you to stop calling here? Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. How is your... I wanted how? to let you guys know. I'm almost there. That's gross. Never tell us how close Does you are. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Why are you gonna fight this right. dude's dick? Be careful. Nah, I'm kidding. I know it's not a dick. Wouldn't it be great if he showed up naked, though? Uh. Akihiko! I'm alright. You're Akihiko. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then, escape out the back. 
But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! H I'm going! Shit's popping off. Your room. You are woken by a loud noise. Should you go check outside? Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, uh, I'm coming in! Alright, alright, wait, you want to. Shout out to the Chop Suey. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going Hurry, on? Downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. Tar handed you a long, thin implement. It seems like to be a Naginata. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Naginata? Naginta? Shout out to Kinta. Tom All right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. <gasps> what was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry! <sighs> the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? See, here's another difference. Right here, it was uh, a cutscene, and they actually made you climb up the stairs. This one's more streamlined. You gotta be kidding me! Look it climbed up the wall? Why the fuck is this thing scary? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. I want to see how this goes. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here it goes. See, all this was a anime <gasps> cutscene, but now they're being rendered in real time. What was that? <gasps> it's a persona, dude. So. Yeah, in terms of the two differences, I think that the anime cutscene is better staged, but I think that's pretty fine considering that, you know, they're working with the constraints of the, of the PSP. Morpheus regained its original form. I also thought they should have named it after um, the girl Orpheus goes after his love, his loved one. I thought that would have been interesting. But I get it, being called Orpheus. It's still moving. Piece of the shadows heading forward, Yukari. No, get away from me! You have to save her. Banana. This might be very bad. It's not bad. 
they are really hurting me though. Surge beside you from the recent battle. Come on, my charm is better than plain. Look at her. That's a pretty lady. The monsters are gone. It seems your car is safe too. You feel exhausted. You are losing consciousness. Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! This is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Persona? My psyche? What do you mean? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Then what? Then what? Orpheus When says. you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please, remember that. Now mm. then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Peace, homie. No. Your head is getting clearer. You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Oh, much better now that this song is playing. Where am I? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. What were those things? They're you shadows. shadows. I already know. They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Prince's song, 1999, Party Like It's 1999, was big on the airwaves. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. I was scared too. Really? But still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. It is a lot. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he Wait, wakes what? up, I'll tell him the truth. Excuse me? Yukari, I am a female. 
I would appreciate you if you called me a girl. That's all. Please do that. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. So I can let it hang loose. A Take second, your girls got to stick up for each other after all. Now you, hmm. You're learning. I like you. Bye. Peace. Bye, homie. Our vaginas bind us together. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. What is it? Actually. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I could hear you from all the way over here. Hey, it's Yucatan. You two live in the same dorm yet? Came separately today? This is because you'll cause too many rumors again. Hmm. What? I just left. I just left a little late. I was playing karaoke. Anyway, I need to talk to work. Bye, bye, Junpei. Are you feeling better? Pepsi? Aww. I'm sorry to hit you with the first thing in the morning. <laughs> hit you with this the first thing in the morning. But it's... It, okay, it is a hard day to say. Ikutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the poor world of warm after school today. Don't forget. <laughs> That's enough about mammoths. <laughs> I don't see what's the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of le lessons about stones. Dragon stones, getting stoned, all forms of stones are bad. I'd rather talk about the Sin Goku era. I love Goku. Japanese history is just that exciting until then. Though I'm paid to do this, so I've got to stop being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When did the samurai get their, their day in the sun? I'll ask a question at random. I'll call it a day. Hmm. Hey, Junpei. What was the style of houses of the Jomon period called? How am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick Pepsi, what the heck is he talking about? I want to say it's Mud Huts, right? Uh, let me do a quick check. I'm going to say it's Mud Huts, but I need to do this for the stats. Was mud huts. I was right. That's correct. Mud huts were built. How, imagine how impressive that would have been if I'd actually believed in myself. That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's, it's no use. I can't get interested. Uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right. I don't get any credit. Oh well. Thanks, Pepsi. You hear your classmates whispering. Pepsi told you pay the answer. She's really smart. She became slightly became slightly more popular. Class is ended for today. Seem to be something important going on at the dorm. Decided to go back early. There's no one in the lounge. We were told to go to the fourth floor. And for that, we will call it a day. Because it's getting pretty long. Uh Persona series is going to be extremely long, uh, and it takes a long time to record. So that's why, again, just like I said in the beginning of the video, I say at the end, your support is important so that I know you guys like this and I can continue. I have no problem recording this this long of a video on Persona. I just need to know that the people are there. So everyone who threw a like on it and saw it yesterday, thank you. And if you're still here, do that again. Until next time, I'm Loki, and have a good day. That shit, that's real. Come on, world, let me rock your world.